Hey, it's tomorrow again. I wanted to talk about a subject that nobody wants to talk about. Nobody wants to think about. But when you are dealing with it, that's all you can think about. I wanted to talk about grief. I wanted to talk about the inevitable. While your loved ones are here on earth, love them completely. Love them unconditionally. Accept them exactly the way they are. That is probably one of the most precious gifts you can give anyone is to accept them 100% as they are. Love them passionately. Do less complaining and more accepting. It's a process. When your loved one passes on or when we pass on, once you have had that kind of love, that kind of empathy, that kind of acceptance and devotion, there's no regret because we gave them the best that we could give them. You will miss them, sure. You will miss them. But I'm here to tell you, they're not that far. They are so close. They're way closer than what you can imagine. Whether you believe in heaven, whether you believe in hell, reincarnation, no matter what you believe in, I think the consensus is we'll see them again. If you don't believe in anything, if you're atheist, agnostic, then you do know that you gave the best love you could give them. And in the case of someone who is a non-believer, then it is over. While they were here, whether they were here a week, two weeks, 20 years, 50 years, 75 years, the love was there, the love was shown, the empathy was shown and shared, then there's no regrets. That is life. That is life. That's what it is. And the beauty of life is that we actually have the capability to show love. That's a gift. That's a gift to be able to have that kind of devotion and to be able to give that, to share that with someone else. That's beautiful. When a person's physical body is gone, whether it's buried in the ground, cremated, decomposed, no matter how it ends up, they don't need that anymore. They don't need it anymore. The voice that they had, they don't need that anymore. That was for this world. That was for this experience. Whether it now, that bundle of energy, that personality, that experience that they had and they took with them, whether they were here for a day, an hour, a minute, a hundred years, whatever experience they took with them, it lives on with them. That energy does not die. The physical body dies. The energy lives on. And they are so close. You, if you don't look for them, don't search for them, don't call them out, let them come to you and you can feel it. They could, you could be thinking of them and you walk into a store and they're playing your deceased loved one's favorite song on the radio or the lyrics to a song that's playing are the words that you need to hear at that moment. Whoa, this is really strange, but it's true. Be receptive to it. That's not wrong. To want to be comforted is never wrong. It is a good thing. It is a sense that we have that we need to embrace. Our sense of intuition. That is not wrong. 
when our loved ones want to comfort us, let them. You don't need to seek them out. You don't need to ask them. They're already there. The universe makes sure that you are comforted. Just receive it. But most importantly, believe and know that your grief is a sign of the love you had for them. It may be some guilt in there. I don't know. But no matter what it is, accept the fact that you are love and you gave the love that you could give while your loved one was here. And if they're not here now, it's okay. We'll be, we'll, we'll be with them again. It won't be in this form. It'll be in a whole nother, a whole nother thing that they already get. They already know. They already understand. We just don't get it yet. So the best that we can do for them is to live our lives, love, gain experience, share, believe in ourselves, and take all of that with us when we leave. You see, it keeps going. I hope and I wish the best of the best for each and every one of you. And I hope that you can give the best love to those around you, to those who matter, while the two of you are still in this land of the living. I wish you well. I wish you the best of the best. Have a very nice day. Thanks. And subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I'm not a man, 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 I'